Okay. Um, I think it's safe to say nobody is going to call it. recording for the reason? It was, and that's also going to overwhelm everything else, so I don't really want to do that. So I am going to turn this this way to prove that there's no camera, nobody can see you, but I want to make sure that the microphone picks up everybody. So, hi everybody. Um, welcome to this, the first small group meeting of our drought planning. Um, you all introduced yourselves, so you all know who we were. Yeah. Yeah. And... You probably know this, I don't know. I'm Tracy. This is Elizabeth. Okay. We're the ringleaders of this show. Um, so the purpose of this particular set of small group meetings that we're doing this week is um, to get particular perspectives on drought, drought impacts, drought vulnerabilities from um, people that are within sort of the same sector or sector group. So like the ag guys are all going to have one discussion by themselves later this week. The irrigation district people are going to have one discussion all by themselves. You guys are the social services, um, community, faith, community, um, education, sort of the general group. Um, so that's kind of the, those are the Sort of thematic perspectives that we want to to bring out uh, information from in this particular discussion. Um, so I think that one of the things I want to start with is for each of you, you've already introduced yourself, so we don't have to do that part. But you can also tell us um, one thing maybe that you know about drought or think about when you think throughout. And it can be something that's happened to you personally, something that you were at the newspaper, it can be from a past or whatever. So you can tell us one thing. I don't know where I can go. One thing. Yes. They think about it. I think it's a dust bowl. Okay. Um, I have so many things that just, you know, popped up into my head. I'm, I'm having a hard time narrowing it down to one, but I'm going to go with um, um, lack of grass and, you know, the uh, problems trying to feed cattle and that kind of stuff. Where I grew up, we were very fortunate. We lived right on the river. There was a lot of swamp ground. During mm -hmm. the drought, the cattle had that to graze on. And, mm -hmm. uh, that saved our bacon a few times. Good. Well, I've been in a drought situation in Texas where we did lose a lot of cattle. We lost a lot of cattle. Um, but I've seen a fire. Okay, so if you had to take these three things and um, come up with a way to uh, describe what's vulnerable. Um, how would you do that? And I suppose I should back up and tell you what exactly I mean when I say that. Um, I'm going to pass these around just so that you can reference them if you want to. These are actually from our draft term. And one of the things, page 15 has definitions. Um, but there are lots of other things in here too that may become useful in the course of the conversation. Um, what we talk about, um, and I think I used these words in the meeting last week, are um, drought impacts and drought vulnerabilities. So a drought, an impact is just an effect, a negative effect from <coughs> the vulnerabilities are things that are sort of, that sort of surround that. So they may be particularly people. Somebody show up. Yeah. I may have to dial the phone again. Oh. 
Father Sorensen is around. Okay. Oh, good friend. And I'm actually going to dial this thing down. Welcome to the Enbridge Conferencing Service. Please state your name. After the tone, please state your name, followed by the pound sign or the hash key. North Flat NRD. You are being placed into conference now. You are the first caller. At any time, press star four for conference instructions. And actually, yeah, if you don't mind typing a message in the chat box, um, you can ask him the same thing. So anyway, vulnerabilities are things like they can be a group of people that is particularly affected by drought. It can be um, a category of effects like lifestyle or um, economic well-being or some or mental health or something like that. Um, can I say wildlife? Yeah, sure. That also counts. Yeah. You said that ecosystem. Yeah. Because our whole economy is based on agriculture. Here. Well, even when I was living in the cities, that's where we went on food prices. Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, use of water. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, lifestyle. So those are sort of, lifestyle. yeah, lifestyle. There you go. Uh, issues are affected in the cities or towns. <clears throat> Okay. You know, the schools and stuff, we used to talk about a lot of Okay. So, does all that kind of make sense so far? What, what we mean when we're talking about that kind of thing? Okay. So, I think that one of the things that we want to capture in this planning process is to the extent possible what are the things that, that we we the district and we the community need to have in mind um, when we're trying to plan for a drought when we're trying to um, respond to a drought when it's actually happening what we do afterwards um, <clears throat> And particularly with your sector group, we don't, other than sort of the educational programs that we do in schools, we don't really interact with you guys a whole lot. So, and, and we know that this is a giant gap in our knowledge. Now, we also recognize that there are certain things that you guys do that are not really within our purview. Um, so what we really want to get is um, sort of a sense of the things that we need to be thinking about in a community sense and also what are so that we can start to think about what are the ways that we can work collaboratively um, before during and after you know what are the things that we can do within each of our particular purviews that still all come together and make sort of a, a coherent but first, I think I want to talk a little bit about, or what you guys are talking about, um, some of the things, maybe expand a little bit on the stuff that we started talking about here. Um, and maybe bring your minds into um, this particular community, um, or the people that you interact with, um, or the things that you can think of related to um, who vulnerable groups might be, what are the impacts of drought on, on your groups, on those vulnerable groups, and then um, 
after that, let's maybe talk about, you know, start to frame problem statements or um, particular ways that those sorts of impacts or vulnerabilities might be gotten at, just kind of in a hypothetical sense. Does all that sort of make sense? Okay. One of the things that I want to emphasize too um, is that you're not here just to talk to me. <laughs> and I'm actually mostly not here to talk to you here, but mostly you're right stuff out. So um, part of what we want to is for you to talk to each other. So if somebody mentioned something or is, is talking about something that you don't quite understand what they meant, you know, don't wait for me to do it because I might get it and then you still won't. So um, please um, treat this sort of like a conversation in a way. Even though it's a weird sort of five sided conversation. Five and a half sided because somebody's really confused. Um, does all that kind of make sense? Yep. Okay. So I'm going to leave this up here right now. Just kind of a drop. Um, and I'm using this one. All right. Um, so let's think about let's do impacts on this side. Ooh. And then we're going to draw a bunch of lines like we used to do when we were a kid in high school and stuff like that. Pretty much like that. So, um, and we don't have to do this in any particular order. So, if you think of an impact or you think of vulnerability, we can put it either way, and then we're going to try to sort of match up um, what groups are particularly affected by impact best. Does that make sense? Okay. Else about. Oh, I was just thinking about what you said about the fire. You know, Shandra's still has a rainforest with their YouTube. <laughs> exactly. And that takes forever. I mean, that impact, impacts the mm -hmm. whole wildlife. Yeah. The ecosystem, well, like it says, just, well, you know, then you're more vulnerable to the wildfire. Okay, so there's the ecosystem that goes with that. Um, well, and then when it comes to another thing that popped into my head, mm -hmm. is popping, sure. is um, when, you, when you have an effect on the, the price of food, um, that my, some of my population, they're just living from paycheck, paycheck to paycheck. paycheck. Yeah. And you, you um, increase the price of food, mm -hmm. and it just makes it even harder. Right. Okay, so if the impact is the increased price of food, right. what maybe are, so you were talking about um, the people that you work with, so so is that impacting um, the families, is that? I'm going to say young families, families is what I mean. Okay. Young but yeah, that's a good point. Are there are there particular kinds of families that right. are lower socioeconomic okay. families? Right, right. And the elderly. And the elderly. And the elderly yeah. For sure. Yeah, exactly. And everybody wants. Right. Or the what they call the working poor. Want to go paycheck to paycheck. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Um, yeah, that's what I was thinking in, in regards to people I work with, two groups. You have those that are in that state, but you also have the, I have a lot of ranchers and farmers, okay. and members of my congregation, okay. which would be impacted hugely, hugely not only economically, but also. Just their work, their lifestyle, their um, everything about their way of life. Okay, so is that just economic? Is that also um, cultural in a way? Is there a mm -hmm. are there um, components or or effects that go along with that? For example, um, changes in physical health, mental health, changes in um, 
Well, there, there was definitely, when I, when I got here to Bayard um, in 2015, we were in, I don't know if we were in a drought per se, but we were definitely low on water. We had rain for, for uh, a long time. Wait, when did you get here? 2015. Oh, you're new. Yeah, yeah. that's a pretty nice year. So but it was. But it had been right, yeah. and then it stopped. And that yeah. stopped, and we didn't have rain for several months right. during the growing season. And uh, the farmers' ranchers were really concerned about that, and so they kept coming to me. You need to pray, pray harder. Okay. Pray harder for this. And uh, of course, we started praying, and then all of a sudden we had a deluge of flooding. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got They said, so Father, you prayed to me. Um, but yeah, their, their way of life, their, they were definitely worried, their anxiety. So it affected their mental health in a way. Okay. Anxiety issues. They became very anxious. And their economic impact as well. I mean, you could put spiritual health. But <laughs> All right, no, that's a thing. So, yeah. I was going to say that spiritual health it affected them positively because they were praying. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we got too much. <laughs> Everyone's flooding over there. Oh my God, it's crazy. So, is it fair to add to this list then um, that part of the the economic concern for the farmers, well, and, and really the mental health? Too, um, was related to worrying about not having enough water to grow their crop and then the economic, the and then the economic, of that. economic impact of that. Yes. So it's, it's a very holistic and related um, situation that they, they face. Okay. Tracy, do you want to come make sure this is recording right? <clears throat> yep, it's still on. Okay. Did Father Collins read this? I think so. Oh, I think he probably had to go to another meeting. <laughs> I'll get on to him. I will try not to. No, it's not his fault. He had uh, the East Overland planning. Um, what else? Doesn't that affect the, the health, the physical health of the, of the entire population? Because if they can't eat right, you know, if their food prices go up, yeah. and they eat junk food because it's cheaper. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there's a nutrition component to that. What do you think might be some other components? Mental health. Well, that's sort of related. I mean, they, they, they eat anything. Well, if you're not getting enough water. <laughs> okay. But, I mean, you also have your nutrition, but you also have uh, in a severe drought, but you don't have enough drinking water. Okay. You have to ship in the water. Okay. What about quality of that water. Yeah. Do you think that might also be something? It wasn't actually. Okay. Okay. What else might fall under this nutrition? You're going to have with the dust and so forth, you have allergies and uh, various uh, respiratory illnesses, mm -hmm. asthma, and so forth. Allergies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, what else? <coughs> Have an impact on some recreation, fishing, boating. Okay. Oh, yeah, 
Are you watching whatever else? That could be a way that we're making um, funds, I guess. Some people are doing ranch tours for preachers. So. Okay, so that is this an impact then just to the businesses, the sort of recreation based businesses, or are there, does that? It could be sort of, but it also would tie out. into like your physical health or something like that. Okay. Um, people aren't getting out and swimming like they were, or, you know, they're not getting out and relaxing on the boat and catching fish or something. Okay. What they like to do. Right. Okay. I think, would it also, in regards to like the um, not mindful cougars coming down and preying on the local in the city and so forth mm -hmm. because of the lack of deer and other oh, wildlife? So would it affect that and would it have an impact on wildlife and everything? It could, but they could also find a little bit easier. Right. Prey because it's all dead. Yeah. <laughs> so I mean, yeah, I, I depending on which way you want to look at it. <laughs> okay. So the, you know, I see over Colorado with the bears coming down, mm -hmm. and also not wanting to come down into the cave. Okay. So how how do you want to phrase that? I think if you just do it, wild, wildlife in general is going to be affected by it. But okay, lack of water, or you know what I mean, these migrating birds. Sure. Yes, okay. exactly. An overarching note. I don't know if we want to specifically shout out Mountain Lion, but I'm just <laughs> exactly. They tend to take the ball a lot. They're blue blister, so maybe a change in wildlife. Okay. That's good. Um so we've already got ecosystem. Uh it's something that would be uh, affected by that or, or something that's vulnerable. Is there anything else particular to that you think that, that well, we already have the farmers and ranchers that you know the easy easy thing would be renewable in France. Okay. Never this Okay. Would you also have businesses on there too? Are there particular like kinds of businesses, yeah. size of businesses? <clears throat> so it's going to be mainly the wildlife, like if you're doing a birding tour or whatever, your okay. business is going to be affected by that. They're more smaller scale things, but I'm trying to think yeah, of like, right? I think implement Efficient. dealers can be affected. Um, oh, that affects your um, your taxes too. Yeah, they yeah, go the oh, yeah, orders. because uh, that affects the schools because farmers can't pay the taxes <coughs> and they have to. And then the so, funding to go yeah. back yeah. for yeah. education, because I know every hunting and fishing tackle whatever gets taxed. And so then that's supposed to go back to education. So education. like the Pittman Robertson and the Johnson Dingle. Mm -hmm. But um, both of those are going to be affected. Okay, so lower tax revenues is an impact. And so you're saying then, if I'm hearing you right, that the population that's vulnerable because of that is like the education for sure. Okay, that's who else? So they're the chunk that comes hospitals, back. Hospitals, I would think, would be the yeah. hospitals get the heck. Yes, yeah. yeah. Okay, and then education or like non formal education, I guess. Maybe. Um, so not schools exactly, but like game and parks. Oh, yes. Okay. So it okay. on. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, Okay, what else? Well, the lower the 
tax revenues, the infrastructure, the roads, and all that good stuff. Okay. okay. Is that equal to the Equally true of everyone, are there particular groups, counties, places where that becomes more or less important, do you think? Maybe, maybe places around larger bodies of water. Sometimes think like Lake McConaughey during mm -hmm. their busy tourism season, they're gonna see a little uptick in sales of what everybody likes to do, they like um Shortage of money, um, people needing things, food, and so forth. Impact on like 
three counties. Okay. In, well, social, in, in social services. Okay. You're not going to have as much coming in. And not as know, much. Not, not as much supplies. Okay. Food, resources. supplies, okay. resources coming in to those social services. And more than enough. And more than enough okay. for those services. Just thinking about how that would affect the kids. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. There aren't that many resources. Mm -hmm. Is that going to cause them to have to move or go somewhere else where they can afford it? You know, search sources or resources aren't going to be available for foods. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? How is that going to affect their learning and mm -hmm. health? Mm -hmm. Okay. Wow. Did you mean <clears throat> in terms of health or just jobs or jobs? jobs? So, do you think then that is is it a question of just looking for jobs in an area where some of these impacts aren't happening? Are you saying that there is an impact on the jobs here themselves? Yes. Okay. So, what kind of an impact is that? Lack of availability. Okay. So, fewer jobs. Fewer jobs. Okay. He may even, in that regard, it's not affect the employment rate. Okay. Yeah, it would be, uh, you'd have a higher employment rate, employment rate okay. or a lower employment rate, you know, higher job Right, okay. Unemployment, higher unemployment. Okay. Um, anything else on I'm wondering. Um, due to mental health issues and anxiety issues and so forth. Higher increase in drug and alcohol use. Mm, okay. Mm. Tracy, did someone join on the phone or did you turn I on? I hung it up. Nobody joined. <laughs> okay. Ooh, it's quarter till. I think we just want to say nobody's going to join. Okay, so increase in substance abuse. Mm. Okay. Um, is there who might be vulnerable in this instance? Doesn't want to do it. Actually, what I didn't talk about. Well, you're gonna have middle class and upper class. It's gonna affect Okay, so that's the thing that is not just. It's not class based. It's not class based. Okay, so. In regards to the fire, the fire damage and the fire threat, mm -hmm. 
it's going to have effect on the, the various firefighting resources. Okay. Um, so the fire departments, the, the fire firefighters, departments, the okay. firefighters, and uh, you know, if you don't have enough, you have to be okay. bringing in other resources from outside of the agency. Okay. Is that um, physical vulnerable. resources like like yeah. water and trucks? Is that human resources? Both. Both. Okay. You know, during the 30s, during the Dust Bowl, yeah. we have not only had the drought going on, but we had the economic mm -hmm. disaster at the same time. And it kind of go hand in hand. Mm -hmm. I mean, that, that was multiple by multiple, but we had the, the banks failing. And... It affects some utility companies. Oh, yeah. It affects okay. utility companies. Utility companies, okay. Mm -hmm. What In what way does it affect? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, like the farmers, if they don't have you know, water, and then the pickets aren't going to go. As well, you know, people in town, if they, you know, that have wells, that, you know, there's a lot of things that will, they won't be used as much. And so their utility, you know, the utility bills will be lower, so it will affect the utility companies. Okay. On their, on their profit. Mm -hmm. You can also see the higher. Uh, increased rate mm -hmm. on the utility bills mm -hmm. for water yeah. and electricity. Mm -hmm. That's a very effect particularly the before the elderly. Mm -hmm. <coughs> You're going to have a tax, a tax or a higher uh, uh, utilization of, well, I don't know if it's utilization, it's a higher demand on health resources. Okay. Or higher demand on health resources. Who's affected by that? Citizens of the like nutrition, so the, the, the poor groups are being more affected. But everyone will be affected because, yeah, yeah increased uh, in um, the demand for the health resources, and that makes all of us look like that. Okay, do you see that as primarily a, uh, related to? <coughs> Public health resources, private health resources, all of the above. All of the above. Okay, is does the impact look the same? Good question. I think you're going to have a high, a high increase on use of public health resources. Okay. Due to the economic situation of people. Okay, so every all health resources may be taxed, but um, mm -hmm. or or. The burden increased, but public health resources would feel that more. Yeah, that is a whole other kettle of fish that we are not going to talk about. It's scene number six. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you did. The priest broke the rules first. I can't believe it. No I'm having confession now. We'll hear it. I broke the rules. Forgive me. I did not have the organization for her because there would be that. Yeah, people would have money to okay. Right. okay. Um, so let's put nonprofits in there. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, and so impact, an impact of that might be less disposable income or less extra income to- Oh yeah, to charges will be okay. affected because yeah. people have less money to, to give. Yep. And I, you know, our particular little parish would be devastated mm -hmm. economically. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't be able to afford purchase. Well, there's a lot of small churches in our right. in our county and county that would be able to afford mm -hmm. clergy or Utilities other resources. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that, yeah, we put the United Way mm -hmm. and all the various the Humane Society, Humane Society, yeah, all the various <laughs> nonprofits. Oh, they wouldn't be able to have the duck dash because the water left. No. What's that? <laughs> I said they wouldn't be able to have the duck dash because oh. the water left. That's true. <laughs> that was. Isn't that Michael Moss? Did you just stop paying the camera? I heard you. No, they did. <laughs> <laughs> well, they, they, you know, that duck dash was just way too high. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so they did their, anyway, sorry. That's not really a problem. Just about that. Break it. Yeah, break the rule. Okay. Well, I'm here to hear your confession. He's already repented of his his own. Uh, How many more of those can we break? Let's go on. Well, it sounds like uh, I, I think this is a pretty exhaustive list. Yeah. It, does anything strike you as missing? Before we move on to the rest or do more stuff with this, I mean, the, uh, the whole every, everybody is affected. Mm -hmm. Seriously, is. Mm -hmm. Okay. You guys are affected in how you would handle this situation. That's true. You mean government, various government organizations? Okay. Administration. So how would you emergency management issue? Okay. <clears throat> how would you define that impact? Does that um what does that look like? Yeah. Because government is a big thing and it does a lot of different stuff. So is exactly. that one impact? Is there a, are there a lot of impacts under that sort of umbrella? Well, I think it would send the and how the government I mean, we have some of mm -hmm. but how it would it would be impacted in regards to that this would become an issue that they have to deal with this. Okay. All these various issues okay. that the population can turn into the government position. Okay. And doing something to handle some of these problems. Okay. Yeah. So do you see that and in terms of you know, phrasing that as impact, is that right. a, a, a negative effect on um, the resources that the government mm -hmm. has at its disposal? Is this um, partly yeah. okay? The governmental resources, okay? Um, um, and leadership taxation. I mean, you're, you're on the if the leadership is not handling the situation well, they don't have. Yeah. And if you have enough workers to handle it, because if they're laid off or something because of the, mm -hmm. you might not have enough workers to handle it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, it'd be like, you know, the House of Mayor's office. <laughs> Awesome. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is how the mayor's office is handling the situation, how they're responding to the crisis. Okay. Is it so, a way that is affected? Okay. So, are you talking about um, political pressure or social yes, pressure? Yes. Okay. Political, political okay. pressure, social pressure. Social so, pressure. we have yeah. the lower amount of water, <laughs> so the mayor says nobody can water their lawn and everybody's upset and then you have the police force trying to re, you know enforce it and they're not in either mm -hmm. yeah. 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 down where the rubber meets the road mm -hmm. precisely and they're bringing up here the police 
Right, so, right, because you have lower taxes, so they don't have the mm -hmm. money the police force, so therefore the people that can't water the water. Yeah, the water break, you know, the, the people that can't water their lawn are mad, so they go break into the company. No, you're actually absolutely correct. You know, the, a lot of these things that we have listed out as separate things really start to oh, yeah. sort of cast oh, yeah, right into each other. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so then, so then, is the vulnerability is it quality of leadership? Like, if the quality is low, then I think, the yeah, I think so, yeah. as an actual a thing that right. if you have an actual leader, in that, if you have an actual leader, leader in that leader position, if you don't have somebody that you have, you have, you have to have somebody that knows how to lead and leads mm -hmm. and, and and looks at the problem and figures it out, not somebody that's just gonna, yeah. yeah. Number six. <laughs> okay, so that's that's kind of this. Really so, so if we uh, wanted to phrase that as a vulnerability, it's yeah. it's partly quality of leadership, but it's also um, the present. Is it knowledge? The is knowledge it, the leadership okay. has. Okay. Yeah. If you have a leadership that doesn't understand farming or you know, rural America, then. Or if you have a, a leader who doesn't depend on the people around him to do mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. you have to have a leadership that yeah, works well with other people. Right. Yeah. Okay. So there's all the Yes, I just call it too. Okay. Choice. We're at a pretty decent pause in the conversation right now. Um, we can do one of two things. We can take one 15 minute break at about 2 30, or we can take a five or 10 minute break now and a five or 10 minute break at lunch. If we're not done. Which would you prefer to do? 15 minute break at 2 30 because I've got to eat there. Okay. All right, we'll keep going. What are you doing? That's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> We're all just going to yell. Me. I don't think so. Be careful, you'll get, you'll get chosen to be on the planning committee. <laughs> 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 Okay. Oh, also, you may admit you don't have to wait until two thirty, but there are snacks on the table. Um, that is homemade shortbread, by the way, and there's marmalade if you're one of those people that likes meat. Who likes marmalade? Uh, there is also meat. No oral gray There is a I can go get it for you. <laughs> we, we can make it. Also, if anyone needs to use the bathroom there. Being present. Okay. 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 Okay.
your price of your agricultural <coughs> land will go down. The taxes on that is based on your price. So that the taxes again, mm -hmm. your revenue is going to go down. Okay. Um, and that all of that is based on not just not only past experiences but present experiences. Right. I mean, it doesn't, you know, take a lot to affect right. a lot of different areas. Mm -hmm. and, um, Okay. I'm sorry. No, you're fine. Uh, I put it down. Just read that again. I know for me, about I'd say about 30% based on past experience. Okay. So these are, and I remember there were a number of them you said that you saw this in yeah. mm -hmm. Okay. Um, would you say that the other 70% or some possible cause of that is, is something that you could anticipate seeing. Okay. Well, anytime you have a past experience, that can be repeated. So if it's in the past, it's very well can happen in the future. That is true. It is mm -hmm. nothing has been done in the interim. Exactly. So, exactly. so are you, do you feel like nothing has been done in the interim to make sure that, that it won't happen again? Well, there's been a lot of things that have been done. Okay. But I think there's more that needs to, I mean, for example, mm -hmm. our dam system, our lakes, our irrigation system, that has all happened since the dust bowl. Right. Right. And okay. a lot of that was put into place to help um, help prevent the terrible ups and downs of our, you know, of, okay. of our weather. We, we can't depend on that. Mm -hmm. Okay. But is there, do you feel like there is a limit to how much that is accomplished? In other words, that, that putting in of those systems has solved a certain number of things, but not this other set of things. I, I, I think it probably does because it, in those days, you, don't, you didn't have the people, you didn't have the big, you know, the big uh, industrial parks everywhere, and different things. You know, that was then, we've come a long ways in, in, in you know, population. And, Okay. So a lot of that has to change. A lot okay. of farming techniques. Yeah, farming techniques. Yeah. Um, and there's more that we can do. I mean, because they continue to develop farming technology. Yeah. You know, a lot of the big uh, industrial companies that use a lot of water, and, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. so it's a whole different ballgame. Okay. Um, let's see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My battery's getting low, so it's like die here in a minute, so we'll be okay. <laughs> then it'll stop. Yeah, exactly. Then it'll stop. Okay. Make it only jump. So. <laughs> um, all right. Uh anyone else? Past versus potential. What do you think? It doesn't necessarily have to be from water, but most of the I'm not going to put percentage on stuff that I think that quickly. Um, that's fine. But yeah, most of it's based, based on past experience. Okay. I mean, there might be some that are possible, but it's, it's just maybe not drought that might have caused it, but it might have been a tank in the agricultural practices that caused the ag economy to go down, or corn prices that does it every year, or different cattle prices that does it every year. So kind of. Those are the impacts of the drought. Okay. Um, do are there ways that a drought compounds those the other existing factors that you just talked about? I think they stack on top of each other a little okay. bit more. Because you know what I mean, you have the corn prices that are low and that causes the cow prices, so they kind of impact each other, but just by stacking one on top of the other, the corn prices are low, and then you got higher, you know, gas prices, and then you have all this other stuff that are just kind of stacking on top of each other. So I think it would expand on some of those. Okay. Are there to kind of build on that, are there things that 
we should be mindful of in defining what kinds of things we want to plan for and how we want to plan for them that um, make that distinction or that draw sort of a delineation between um, these are things that are happening sort of external to, to or not related to drought and we're not dealing with that versus these are the things that we see that are related to drought and then how do the how do you see those two categories of things working together? Kind of depend on what we have control over. Okay. You know what I mean? What, sure. Well, well, okay. So let's talk about that. What are the things that we have control over? Um, What can we control? One of the things that we can control is the knowledge of, of the general population. We can educate about okay. the importance of um, mm -hmm. conservational activities. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that is something that we can control and we can do when there is it. Conservation is something fun to talk about. Exactly. Okay, so it's the education level about conservation and it's conservation itself. Okay. What else? We can make sure that we have, for instance, firefighting resources available um, or other resources, physical resources mm -hmm. in place. Okay. Yes. In fact, I'm going to do this. So this <laughs> Making sure that we have the various physical resources okay. in place in case of an emergency situation. How do we determine what those resources are, how much we need, and where they should be? I'll let the experts determine that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> One of the things that has happened in uh, this area in the hospitals, um, it's been really kind of cool. Um, people in metropolitan areas are taking less of this stuff. Yeah. But the hospitals, because of the H1N1 flu epidemic and stuff, they mm -hmm. uh, started realizing the importance of having backup supplies. Yeah. Well, what they have done in our area is they just put it in there. They don't have a stockpile of, of supplies back here. They have supplies that rotate through, so they mm -hmm. constantly have new stuff right. and not wasted stuff and that's what happens so often when you are trying to you know um, plan for something in the future you stop how this stuff and then it ends up going to waste mm -hmm. and that is one of the things that we have to think about with the firefighters is how you keep you, you don't you can't just stockpile water no <laughs> For example, mm -hmm. right. So you have to figure out how to use the resources and still keep adequate supplies on hand so that in a disaster or crisis, we have that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's partly just having them there, but it sounds like it's also about having a plan for how those extra resources get managed through exactly. time, mm -hmm. even when you're not called upon to use them. Is that right? Okay, exactly. management resources. Okay. Management of resources. Wait, it's paid the big bucks. Yeah. Okay. Another thing that we can control or educate or learn mm -hmm. is um, crops that do well during a drought time. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. I mean, we've come a long way. The strip farming with the wheat, you know, that has mm -hmm. made a huge difference. There's things. Mm -hmm. I know that they're learning things all the time. And so if we can continue to learn and continue to improve on that. Drought-resistant grains and... Drought-resistant grains. Uh, look, uh, minimum kill or low kill crops. Mm -hmm. uh, Increases too broad the space for conservation, but also like I'm talking about savings economically. Okay. Um, food supplies, water supplies, that type of thing. Okay. And pre preparation. Okay. So that sort of uh, educate people. All right. Education sort of in, in emergency preparedness. Emergency, and, emergency preparedness. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Yes. How about conservative practice? Conservation, conservation practices. practices. Well, that's already yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Were you also talking about like financial 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 stability, planning, financial planning, planning. Um, right. as well. Mm -hmm. Here, the federal government is public service. Well, we can kind of kind of try to control our own physical health. Okay. So that you know we are there when if needed. You know, if we have to be part of a volunteer group or mm -hmm. to help others during these this time. Okay. So so if you're in a position of not necessarily a position of authority, but a position in which people are relying on you, then mm -hmm. then you the thing you can control is. Um, your personal prepared like physical and mental preparedness mm -hmm. to, yeah. to do that okay You can also control having a plan in place to mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. put these resources in place. Not I'm talking, about, not talking about fiscal resources, but social service resources. Okay, so um, community resources. Community? Okay, all right. How do we collaborate? How do we work together um, in meeting the needs of the, of the population? I'm just trying to look at our list of impacts and mm -hmm. different things like that. And I, I don't know how other people are going to react when it comes to you know, recreation. If people are still going to go out there and try to fish or if they're going to you know, not be able to afford it. So <coughs> my number one thing, I guess, that I know that I can help with is just like the conservation implementation and education. 
Okay. I mean, that's having that education there so kids know that's why we don't run the water when we brush our teeth or mm -hmm. you know different things like that and having that plan in place or at least my top two to go to that I can control that way. Okay. What else? Flip side. Mm -hmm. What can we not do? The water. <laughs> 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 What else can we not do? We can't control how people will respond. Okay. Emotionally, physically, spiritually. On an individual basis or a collective basis? Both. Okay. How do those look different? Well, if you have a, on a collective basis, and you're going to have it exponentially uh, greater uh, problems and uh, you know, collectively you have like mass, you know, studies on like crowds and masses of people from other groups or protesters and so forth. Okay. You never know what's going to happen. Okay. Those are greater threats. Threats to what? To public safety. To okay. Who just joined? I am not sure. Says Leo. That sounds like Leo. Also, he's not here. Nope. And then he left. I think it was an accident. Oh, oh. It was a crash. So. He's not no, he's not. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. So. Collectively, there's a public safety concern because they are the collective is less predictable. Less predictable is less innovation, okay. Okay. Crowd dynamics play a, a different role than individual dynamics. Okay. See this on, for instance, uh, we saw this in Texas when we had a water shortage. Okay. People rush to the grocery store and fights break out mm -hmm. over the water, and we have these crowd of people fighting over limited resources. Okay. Over a bottle of water. <laughs> Gatorade and beer. <laughs> wow. It was pretty crazy. Okay, what about on an individual basis? So, okay. I, I okay. agree that we also can't control that, but what does that look like compared to this? On an individual basis, mm -hmm. it affects on the emotional and physical health, spiritual health. I think you might be more likely to talk or persuade an individual than you would a group. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> So we may not be able to control their response, but we might be able to respond to them or communicate with them. Educate them in a 
more effective, more of everything. And maybe and try to meet their needs with whatever resources they are available. Okay, so it's easier to meet needs on an individual basis than on a collective. Okay. Yes. Okay. What else can we have? We have coffee if you need We can control the coffee. <laughs> 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 the water Except you can't control world coffee prices. If they get out of control, I'm sorry. We won't have coffee. I'm sorry, but it does take water to make coffee. Well, I'm saying that's the thing. Is as long as we have a little bit of water, we're okay. And that's what they're talking about. <laughs> what else? What can we not control? We can't control. We cannot control the economics. On a macro scale. Yeah. Okay. Both that as well as on the local scale. Okay. What are market. you talking about? All the various prices, unemployment, those type of things that we are not able to control. Due to the various. But isn't that what we're trying to do? Is figure out a way to, to minimize the thing? Minimize, mitigate it, but yeah. I don't know if you can control it. Cannot control it, but what we want to do is try to minimize the, the damage. The yeah. ups and downs and the rounds. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Trying to stick on topic, but we also this is going to sound like it's not on the subject matter. But um, the little old Nebraska sometimes we might be forgotten in the whole political scale of things, so we can't control our people in decision making um, authorities like presidents and things like that. Sometimes, okay, is that true across the board? So is is it true that we cannot control all politicians and political processes? Is it only a certain segment of them? <laughs> I'm just trying to think of like, sometimes there's a group of people, they're not gonna need to do it unless it comes from a higher, higher power. Like okay. the president says we must reserve water. So that means that we're gonna to be voted in or something or this kind of thing. Okay. Do it because Okay. Um, so but we can't, but we do have a voice in it. We can kind of control, maybe not clear up there, but in the right. Well, yeah, how do I want to yeah. Okay. But even and then Lincoln, and, Lincoln might not be very helpful in regards to the stop world But we do have we do have the, the local government. Yeah, and we do have the right to um, you know, we do have the right to explain what's going on. Yeah. Sometimes we, yeah. We have voice sometimes we voice. have a tendency to sit and complain and not voice what really is happening. And, and so, we have our national representatives here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so, so yeah. Well, California just went through a huge, huge drought. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. The national government couldn't do much uh, really about that. Um, what I'm saying is, you know, that really isn't their problem. If we have a drought here, okay. it's not Washington's problem. Okay. It's our problem. Okay. Um, and we need to deal with it. Okay. So are you saying that <coughs> that, that is something that we have a certain amount of control over? I am. I'm okay. saying that we have okay. a certain amount of control. We have a certain amount of Influence, if not control. Okay. I was just going to say, should we differentiate between control and influence? influence. Like there are things yeah, that... I think influence. Okay. Yes. Okay. But 
we could try and input yeah. through That's petitioning right. and, and talk But our and, our decision to exert that influence or to attempt to is a thing we can propose? Yes. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Well, I'm going to go before we could talk about who got to be on the board or whatever, taking it to the work group. <laughs> yeah, her stuff is still. So, well, yeah, I was going to say, she better come back. <laughs> 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 no, I think she actually got to be. <laughs> she left her stuff. Yeah. Oh. I think she just went out to the, talk on the phone. No, because she said she had to leave it to her. Oh. She doesn't need to take the, I need this back. <clears throat> that is hers. <laughs> Um, okay, so I kind of want to look at both of these a little bit more to make sure that we're, make sure that I'm sure that we're talking about the, right, the, the same thing. Mm -hmm. So let's finish up political and then I want to jump back to economics. So in terms of the political process, we agreed that we can make a decision to influence the process. So we have control over our decision to do that. And we have control over the way that we go about police or go about doing that. Is that a fair representation? Okay. What's the part about that that we can't control? We can control what we do. We can't control what our politicians are doing. Okay. So we can't necessarily control the decision that comes back the other way but we can at least control what goes from here to there. Yes. Is that is that a fair okay? Yes. Okay. I want to jump back to economics and then let's take a break. Um so economics. Because it sounded like there was a little bit of disagreement about that too. So, and it sounded like part of this was a question of scale. Yes. Part of it's a question of specific economic factors. Mm -hmm. So, let's take prices for example. That's one that, that you said. Uh, where do prices come from? Like, is that something? Chicago Mercantile. Okay, <laughs> so, but that's an important <laughs> decision. Yeah. That's something that, to a certain extent, gets set by forces that are yeah. completely external to this community, this district. Is that fair to say? Yeah. Okay. So when we talk about that being something we can't control, that's the part of it that we can't control? Okay. Yes. Okay. That, well, yes, as well, I would think that you would not be able to control um, even what local prices would be. Mm -hmm. Okay. Based on demand, supply and demand forces. Okay. Is that the only thing that sets price in a given market? Supply and demand? Mm -hmm. I'm not doing a classic economic economic. Sure, but is that the only thing? Well, you could have people who set prices, set prices. You could. That sure. happens. Yeah. Okay. I think what else would impact besides the point of view? What about? I mean, you have limits of resources. Sure. I'm kind of leaving you a little bit. Yes, question. you are. But... I'm trying to figure out where you're leaving. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> just like mm -hmm. we have a certain we right. can influence the political process, do you think that there is any way? that a community can influence economic factors. Prices for you. If Safeway, the whoever manages Safeway, mm -hmm. or let's pick a local grocery store because Safeway is a really good example. If yeah, this, <laughs> somebody so at the whatever the grocery store's name is in Bridgeport, I can't think of it, decides so. they want to charge $10 for a loaf of bread. Is that going to fly? No. Okay. How are they going to know that's not going to fly? No, it's not purchased. Okay. Do you think that's the only thing that would happen? I think that the local government should step in and see the price down. Okay. 
So that's that was one that was one of the things that did happen in Texas. Okay. So was, particularly with the gas station. Okay. Um, after 9-11, of course, gas prices skyrocketed mm -hmm. across the country. Mm -hmm. And the next day, uh, I know the uh, governor of Texas and some of the mayors came out and uh, fined some of these gas stations for price that. Okay. So there is political and legal resources that can be utilized okay. to protect the citizens. Okay. Is that a thing you can do? That you can. You the, can. Legal, the legal part. Okay. Because it's already set, so we already have what they said. But you can't price that. Right. So just like you can make a decision to influence the political process, can a community also make a decision to influence certain segments of yeah. economic practices? Is that another thing to say? Yeah. Okay. I would say so. Okay. I, I see what you're saying now. Yeah. <laughs> but as you also point out, there is also, and I, there are also external components that don't necessarily work that way. So perhaps it is useful to know that we're talking about it. external forces. Okay. Yeah. Oh, is there a regulation on utilities in the state of that? Um, sort of. The Public Service Commission exists to sort of regulate the public power district. So mm -hmm. if a utility wants to raise its rates or something different with its billing, they have to go through the Public Service Commission. Okay. So That's there's the, the Public Service system. Commission doesn't have like a rate table that don't need to have charge more than X, but mm -hmm. they still um, they have, to, have to review any kind of change. That's good. So there is some protection. There is. Okay. Um, what else can we not control? The fine is up and all of it. regards to how people will respond, I was thinking, we don't know how people will spend their money. Okay. Will it be on quality, nutrition, resources, okay, or will it be on lower quality of goods? Most likely a lower quality of goods if they don't have the money. But they may buy beer instead of water, mm -hmm. <laughs> for instance. Mm -hmm. yeah. You can't control the revenue or uh, you can't control the crime. So you know that's going to happen during that time. It's just going to happen. I mean, you just can't control that kind of thing. Okay. Um, is it that you cannot control the thing itself or you cannot control how you respond to it? So you, you cannot control I think, the thing you know, okay. itself, but then you can control okay. how you respond to it. So. Okay. Um, yeah. <clears throat> okay. 
and you can't control businesses if they decide they've had enough and they close the door and they're done. Okay. You can't control that. Okay. So um business decisions, um mm -hmm. how do you wanna phrase that? Or do you, you mean can affect how you can affect the way the businesses respond? Okay. To the maybe you know if they stay open or they close or okay. shorten their hours or whatever or okay. lay off people. Lay off people. Yeah. yeah. Unable to hire Yeah. Oh, in regards to recreation, you can't control whether or not people are going to work here. Mm -hmm. With the actual decision to do it? Okay. Yeah. Or how they want to do it. Okay. How, in terms of um, changing their usual recreational behaviors, are you talking about choosing to do something legally versus illegally? What? Mm -hmm. What exactly is it? Okay. Okay. How they respond to the legalities and how the, whether or not they are going to or changing the recreation patterns or, uh, or what they decide to do, take a trip or stay at home. You know, some people are going to the lake every week. I mean, not going to the lake every week. Some people want to spend the whole summer. Mm -hmm. Change it. Okay. Yeah, definitely. Whether or not they decide to get a fishing permit, mm -hmm. or not getting a fishing permit, okay. or a hunting permit, whatever. Okay. What else? <coughs> sort of related to that. Yeah, we can't change the wildlife. Okay. <laughs> how, how, okay. how the wildlife will respond to the drought. Okay. Control. Okay. So we can't change wildlife responses or wildlife species. Okay. Can we change? Can we control anything about how? Yeah. Okay. Calling herbs and things. Okay. I'm gonna let you take a break now. <laughs> Three hour conversations are really fatiguing. So. <laughs> um so and I sort of hope this doesn't feel like a three hour conversation. But anyway, let's take a 15 minute break, get up, stretch, run around, indulge socially unacceptable habits, whatever. Um get some snacks, we have coffee if you need it. <laughs> Socially, it's always that. The restroom's down the hall. It oh, is. Yeah. Yeah.